Hello everyone, this will be the first video towards MX Road tutorial. Uh, before entering anything or before doing anything into MX Road, we need to know what kind of data MX Road takes. So usually surveyor gets a topo data in the form of drawing file and to get the input data for MX Road, we need to convert the drawing file into CRD file. The topographical data is collected by using various instruments like leader or tumpy label or uh, even total station. Uh, total station works in global coordinates while dumpy level works in local coordinates and later is based on satellite. So whatever may be the source for collecting the data, the data is presented in the form of drawings and that topo map or that topographical alignment is given and to for the, for, for the designs and to design it using MX Road, we need the input file in the form of Genio file. So in this video, I'm going to show you how a drawing file can be converted into a CRD file, which will be the input to the MX Road. I have a topograph data of a particular location and I'm going to show you how to convert the small stretch which is encircled in this blue circle into a CRD file. So for that, I need to delete everything that is unnecessary and I'm going to start with the boundary. I'm deleting the boundary. Similarly, I'm deleting everything else also. So all this data, I'm deleting it. Now, for this particular stretch, I just have to trim the sections that are starting in the side also and also which are extending out, outside this circle also. So for that, I will use the command trim. So if I am using trim and space twice, so as you can see it, uh, when I pressed trim and space button twice so this line got trimmed here so in the same way i'm going to use the trim command for the upper section also which is beyond this um, blue line I and mean blue circle so in this area also i'm going to right click and select this part it is trimmed on this side also so after that we'll start deleting everything. Now I'll delete everything that is below here. So you can see it got this down portion got deleted. Similarly I'll delete these things also. So Everything on the down portion is deleted, and this is also clear. Now, if I go to the upper portion, I'll delete everything here also. So, After this deletion is complete, okay, a few more points here that also I'm building. Now, after this, I'm just deleting the circle also because whatever stretch I want is almost ready. And now, I make sure I don't need all these points. Like I don't need all these descriptions. I don't even need points which are very far and I do not need this text also. What I need is just the center line and the line on the right, line in the left and this boundary lines and a few points that are along the stretch. So for that reason, I have to delete all those other unnecessary things which might be a just troublemaker for MX Road. So the easy way to delete those things is I just select this 
I'll right click here. Then there is an option of select similar. So in that way, all these boxes will get selected and then I get this delay. So similarly for text, also if I do select similar, everything will be selected and it will be deleted. I don't need this river crossings also. So I'll delete beam also. And I don't need the points which are very far also. So I'm deleting those points also. After deleting everything, finally, I have with me is the center line, left hand side line, right hand side line, and the boundaries and few points along the alignment. Now, after this, we need a command called upload APPLOAD. So, when we press this upload, now we need to load into we need to convert it into senior file so i have already given an application source of autolips application and i'll load this file here so once it is loaded we'll get a sim we'll get a message of successfully loaded when i'll close it after this i'll put a command of genio And I'll create a new model and I'll save it as lines and this will be saved in the form of CRD file and model name also I'm going to keep it as lines. I'm not changing the arc tolerance and I'm not changing the drawing scale as well. So it is asking me to select object. So I'll select all of this and it's done. So after this, if you see in desktop, we have our input ready for the MX show. So that's it for now.